29 million Americans have diabetes, putting them at risk for stroke and heart attack. But you probably didn't know that 86 million Americans have prediabetes, meaning they have elevated blood sugar, and many don't even know they're at risk. As an obstetrician, Dr. Robert Atlas knows the importance of monitoring his pregnant patients for signs of complications. But two years ago, he found himself monitoring his own health complications after his doctor ordered blood work. At that time, my blood sugar, since he had sent some, was 167. And it was like, whoa, you know, what's this? People are diagnosed with diabetes if their fasting blood sugar levels are above 126 or if a test of red blood cells known as an A1C reads higher than 6.5. Prediabetes is blood sugar between 100 and 125 or an A1C between 5.5 and 6.4. Often if the blood sugars are borderline, people don't know. Despite an active lifestyle, blood tests showed Atlas was pre-diabetic. He had no symptoms. Allison Massey is a diabetes educator who says pre-diabetes is a red flag that it's time to make a change. We have research that supports that lifestyle change is so powerful at reducing your risk of developing type 2 diabetes by about 50 percent. Here are five changes you should make if you are pre-diabetic. First, if you're overweight, reduce your body weight by 10 percent. Exercise at least 30 minutes five times a week. Limit or even eliminate sugary drinks. Try to make vegetables 50% of each meal. And finally, increase your fiber intake. Atlas's weight swings between 185 and 216, and he knows at the lower end, his diabetes risk goes down. Since many patients don't know their blood sugar levels may be in the pre-diabetic range, doctors say people should be screened every three years for type 2 diabetes beginning at the age of 45. Those with a family history of diabetes or those who are overweight are at a higher risk and may benefit from earlier screening. Stay with us.